Well, today, it's probably not going to be a very big, long video, but I'm going to install a freeze plug or a core plug, whoever you want to be. Um, so, I'm just going to get that. We're going to put it in right here. Um, it is some, um, like, asking around, and some people say to use, uh, like Permatex, uh, you know, some people say to do dry. I'm going to do the dry um, just because I don't have any Permatex. Um, at least I don't know. I'm not too sure which Permatex because Permatex is just a name and there's lots of it out there. So pretty much what we're going to end up doing is we're going to install. We're just going to install the dry. Um, big things I've seen with installing is to make sure that they're, they're, uh, um, you know, flush obviously, and then you want to pound on the outside, you don't want to pound on the inside of the plug. So, let's get this installed. Well, that's, it's in there. Um, I think it's just supposed to go until it's flush. Um, but what I did was I used uh, a socket, like a big, this is like really flat. And uh, let's see, I'll set this right here. And we'll grab one of these. And then you see how that's flat? And this sits on there flat, like all the way around. You just want something that's flat along those lines, so that way when you uh, you're pounding on it, you're pounding around the outer edge. You do not want to stick anything inside of the plug. From what I have read, I'm not a professional, so what I've researched. So, um, but yeah, this looks like it's in there. And hopefully it doesn't leak, because this would suck to have to do when it's in the inside the engine bay. Even though this is actually in a pretty accessible area on my Firo, because it's pretty well gutted. But that's going to be it for this one. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.